Principles of Symmetrical Components Part 1D. In this part, we're going to investigate the difference between a balanced set of three phasers versus the unbalanced set. And some of the terminologies that are involved describing the balanced set versus the unbalanced set, which spills into symmetrical components. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the two phasers that were presented in part 1C. And by inspection, I can tell you that this is an ABC system and this is also an ABC system and both systems are balanced, okay? But we're going to make this system unbalanced and see how the phasers change, okay? To make this an unbalanced set, all we need to do is just grab this phaser and make it and make the angle between IA and IC different than 120 degrees or the angle between IA and IB different from 120 degrees. So we could just rotate this and as you can see as we rotate it the angle changes. Now because the angle between these two guys are not 120 degrees and the angle between these two guys are not 120 degrees this becomes an unbalanced set. Now let's put it back to where it was before, okay? Now what if the magnitude of IB suddenly shrunk? So now IB looks something like that. So the angle between IB and IC, well that's 120 degrees and the angle between IB and IA, well that's also 120 degrees. But the magnitude of phaser B is not equal to the magnitude of phaser C and IB is also not equal to the magnitude of IA. So because the magnitude of IB changes, this becomes an unbalanced set, okay? So let's make the unbalance a little bit more severe. So this configuration is also an unbalanced set of phasers. We're now going to cover some of the terminology that are involved describing balance and unbalanced set of phasers and how it spills into symmetrical component, okay? So this is a balanced set of three phasers, right? Well, in a lot of the books and papers that we read, a balanced set is also described as a symmetrical system, okay? An unbalanced set is also described as an unsymmetrical system. So we have the symmetrical system here and then the unsymmetrical system there. Now sometimes when describing faults, right, we're, now we're talking about faults, when describing faults or short circuits, sometimes we use the term symmetrical faults versus unsymmetrical faults or we have a balanced fault versus an unbalanced fault. Now these terminologies would describe how the phases would look like if we had a balanced fault or a symmetrical fault or if we had an unbalanced fault or an unsymmetrical fault. So if you had a balanced fault, we could expect the phasers for a balanced fault to look something like this. But if we had an unsymmetrical fault or an unbalanced fault, we would expect the phasers to be unbalanced or look something like this. So that concludes part 1D. Now in part 2, we'll actually go into how these symmetrical components are defined and constructed. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so by clicking on the button that's on the bottom right corner of the screen. Look at the bottom of the page for additional information and as always visit generalpack.com for more power systems video tutorials. Thank you.